Yo, what is good, everybody? My name is the Coaster King. Today, I'm doing a five-year plan for Darien Lake, talking about the years 2021 to 2025. Of course, uh, this park was just recently acquired, reacquired, shall I say, by Six Flags. So, we're definitely going to look at some of the rides Six Flags is going to put in there in the next few years. So, as always, we're going to look at the last five years. So, 2020, they added water park additions, um, and you know, I haven't done too much research. I, I think. This should be going on. That this should go through. Uh, meaning, like, I, I don't think it'll get pushed back to 2021. I think they've made decent progress on it. So I'm going to assume that this is going to stay as a 2021 edition. Um, it was one of those tornado slides. I, I don't know what the model is. To be honest, I'm not too familiar with um, water water slide models. But yeah, it was one of those tornado ones. And uh, 2019, they added their Six Flags Side Screamer. Uh, right before that, in the 2018-2019 gap year right there, um, they, Six Flags reacquired the park. So the Scratch Screamer was the first thing that Six Flags actually added. Uh, 2018, they added Tantrum, their Gerstlauer Eurofighter, uh, which was one of their only new coasters. And in, in God knows how long. It was a very long time. Uh, right preceding that was absolutely nothing in 2017. And Rip Curl Racer, which is a Matt Slides in 2016. So I was, as we see here, two out of five years uh, out of the last five and adding to the water park, obviously one doing nothing. So really half of their years of additions go into the water park. So uh, definitely you can say they've been you know, trying to ramp that up and uh, only one coaster in probably the last 10, 15 years, which is not too good. Sorry of 2021, I think they're going to add a Zamperla Air Race. Um, Six Flags is just starting to put these in. That they're putting in, I think it's called Daredevil Dive at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. And that ride is opening in 2020. Um, so I think they're going to do the same thing in, in Daring Lake. I also think they're going to keep all the uh, non-DC themes out. So I think they're going to keep like uh, normal, theme, normal theming, no superhero stuff like that. Maybe they do do Daredevil Dive. Uh, like Fiesta Texas did, or maybe they can, you know, they, they, they've got a million names, I'm sure. So, uh, I think they're going to keep the name, make it Zamperla Air Race, should be a good addition for the park, who really does not have too many great thrill rides. 2022, I think they added Kids Area Expansion. Uh, this park it is a smaller park, but I do think it needs a new revamp for the Kids Area. Uh, they have been adding a lot for the thrill, thrill Seekers lately, so that's always nice, but their Kids Area is extremely outdated. Definitely needs like a revamp, maybe uh, refurbish some rides, make some new coasters, create some new themes for the areas, uh, stuff like that. Really need much needed for this park uh, as a smaller park that really also tailors to the kids. You know, they got to keep it even with their additions. 2023, I think they make a huge, huge, huge change. Um, I think this is when Six Flags is really going to start investing to this park. So first of all, I think they're going to retheme Ride of Steel back to Superman Ride of Steel. So I think they're going to, starting in 2023, start using the DC names and start using, you know, um, the superhero titles that are, you know, classic to Six Flags parks. So 2023, I think they retheme Ride of Steel and add their Justice League Dark Ride. Uh, that's pretty much a, a staple at many Six Flags parks. I don't know how many there are, but there's there's definitely a few. I think it's like five or six at this point. So uh, I think they're going to add that and really, you know, Bring in that superhero theme, and that's really just known to be at Six Flags. 2024, I think they RMC their wooden roller coaster, the only wooden roller coaster, Predator. This has horrible reviews, like absolutely horrible. And uh, this park definitely needs one more standout roller coaster to make it like a bucket list coaster for people around the world. Uh, right now, people really don't need to go on, go to this park because there's a clone of Superman down in Maryland at Six Flags America, and Tantrum is just a Eurofighter, and you could go on those pretty much everywhere in the United States. So 2024, I think they get their, their amazing new ride in RMC Predator. Um, I don't know, maybe called Predator Unleashed Metal Predator, something stupid like that, Twisted Predator. Um, yeah, so I think it'll be like that. I think it'll be an amazing new addition for the park, much needed to really push them over the edge and get them to be an above average Six Flags park. Uh, as of right now, I do only consider them to be average at best, probably even below average. 
And in 2025, I think they added giant discovery to the park. Uh, once again, I was saying before that they don't really have too strong of a throw right collection. So I think this would be a great addition for the park. Uh, Six Flags has been really throwing these in everywhere. Like one, two, maybe even three times uh, in a year going to different parks. So they even added one to Mexico, I believe, called Crazy Entity for 2020. So I think they're going to add that in 2025. Um, yeah. Uh, Six Flags obviously likes to put these in, so I think Darian Lake could be a good recipient of one. That's it, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Leave in the comment section what you thought about this video, as well as any other parks you guys want to do a five-year plan for. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>